Good morning, beautiful people. That sun is right in my eyes. I'm going to make some dill pickles this morning. So, if y'all would like to make some dill pickles, y'all can follow along with me. I've got four pounds of pickling cucumbers, vinegar, water, and salt warmed on the stove. Um, grape leaves to keep them crisp. I'm gonna put in some peppers, hot peppers, and some garlic. So, let's get to it. Okay, I'm gonna make up some dill pickles. I have my pickling cucumbers. And then over here we've got some warm water for a water bath. Uh, this is vinegar water and some canning salt and our lids are warm. I don't really know how much this is gonna make, but I'm gonna start off with putting a grape leaf in four pint jars. And this one's got a couple of bad spots. I don't want to put those in, in there without cutting the bad spots off. Or the grape leaf. Okay, put those in. And then I'm gonna put these little hot peppers in each one. followed by some hot pepper flakes. I'm gonna put, uh, I think a half a teaspoon in each. We like them hot and spicy pickles. Okay, now I'm gonna cut up my cute, no, not my cucumbers, uh, my dill, not my dill. I'm a dilly today, my garlic. I'm gonna put a clove of garlic in each one. Wash it. Okay, peel off that skin. And put it in. We're gonna go by and do this to each one. Okay, now that I've got my garlic in there, I'm gonna put some dill weed. a good tablespoon in each jar. It that won't go in, so we'll do with halves. I have a whole lot. So we're doing a half in each jar. Of dill weed. Okay. I'm not sure what kind of peppers these are, but I'm going to add some of them to each jar. Cut off each end. Because my husband, he really likes it hot. And he also takes these peppers out and munches on them, so... Okay, now let's cut up our cucumbers. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cut both ends off. You definitely have to cut the... Uh... Okay, we're gonna end up with some slicers in here too. I'm gonna cut these in spears. I'm gonna cut this end off because I just want it big enough to fit in there. And we'll make slicers out of this and spears out of this. Cut it in half, and then cut them in half again. Like that. Okay, let me cut some up, and then we'll pack our jars. Okay, let's pack some of them in. Our jars. Let's see what we come up with.
pack them in there fairly tight. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll be back when I get them packed in. Okay, I've got all four of them packed. And this is my vinegar, water, salt mixture. So I'm going to put it in my uh, jars. inch head space right now. <clears throat> I probably will let these set for a few minutes because they seem to, um, you know, the water seems to drop after a while. So let's get our bubbles out. As those bubbles come out, the water will drop and you'll have to add some more. So let's uh, work on these and let them set for a few minutes. See if we need to add any more water to them. Okay, let's clean the rims of these jars up a little bit with some vinegar. See, get all that extra stuff, deal, and things like that that bounced up and hit the rims of these jars. So we can make sure they make a really, really good seal. I think I got it all off. Let's add our lids. Had them set over here in some warm water. Okay, let's add our rings to our jars now. Fingertip tight. put this vinegar that I have uh, from cleaning the jars into my water so uh, I won't have hard calcium stuff all over my jars when they come out. And I'm going to strain it because it looks like I have a few pieces of dill in there and I just don't want it in there. Okay, let's add them to our canner our water bath. This is just a big stock pot that I had and uh, I put a metal grade in it. Let me show you. See I have that little wire in there at the bottom because you can't let the jars touch the bottom. Okay I've got them all four in. They're covered. You gotta have at least an inch water over the top of your jars. Now we're going to bring it up to a boil. Okay, our water's boiling, so I'm going to put the lid on it, and then I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes. We're going to water bath it for 15 minutes. Okay, I'm going to set our timer, and we'll be back to do these other three jars. Okay, the timer's going off. We're going to get these out of the canner and put them over here on the counter on a towel. And just let them set for about 48 hours, and then I'll put them away in the pantry. And then I try not to, uh, I really try not to eat them for a few weeks. That one's siphoned a little bit.
what we want to hear in a little while is a pop and that'll be the seal um, the lid on the jar sealing okay I'm gonna put these other three jars in and get them processed okay let's get these other jars filled I hope I have enough liquid here do them all because I don't want to make any more up. I think I will. See, I just slice these in the slicers. Oh, yeah. We're going to have plenty. Let's get the air bubbles out. Pokey Joe. Okay, let's clean these lids with some vinegar. Or rims, uh, not lids, gee. I'm still not here, am I? Clean the rims of the jars with some vinegar. Put on our lids. Now our rings, bring your tip tight. So I used two cups of vinegar to four cups of water, grape leaf in each, peppers, pepper flakes, garlic, dill, Oh, and in my vinegar water, I also put canning salt. So, you can look online. There's numerous ways to, um, you know, make up your, your canning stuff. That water's a little hot, so I need my, my lifter to put in. So, we're going to put these in. Bring it up to a boil and um, process for 15 minutes. Remember, it has to be at least an inch over the top of the jars. And don't start timing it until the water starts boiling. Okay, our second batch is boiling, so let's set our timer for 15 minutes. Okay, the second batch is complete, so let's get it out. Another canner. Get it out, put it beside these others. Over here. Thank y'all so very much for watching. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. And there's a little notification bell. And if you hit that notification bell, it will let you know the next time I put out a video. Thank you for all your support. Bye now.